Hi guys, welcome along. This is Rival Kingdoms. You're watching me because and today we're gonna get stuck into it. No delays. Let's quickly get this done because uh, as of a couple minutes ago the event already kicked off and unfortunately I've had a quite busy day and was unable to get on and record about it. Um, so let's get it done, get it done quickly and uh, let's move on. Okay so it's called the Worms Gambit and it is a Kingdoms uh, event so it's not just individual it's everyone working together and uh, we're gonna go through a battle very soon about it um, but use remnants of dragons past to increase your dragons strength to legendary with an ancient dragons heart and now it started as I said a few minutes ago and it's three days long so it will finish on the 1st of February uh, 2016 so how to participate okay so first gather battle points by winning battles now it's very important that you actually win it because if you don't win the battle you won't actually get the point gain additional battle points by using elemental boosters such as death knights and uh, like the the elementals like um, fire elementals and that um, and just so that you know elementals get stronger as the battle goes on so they're quite weak at first but they get stronger as the battle goes on so they're not bad to use uh, collect rewards with the worms gambit event we're about to go through that use your dragons as ancients to win even more battle points so the dragons uh, will give you five battle points and uh, for a win so if you'll get your five battle points for winning the battle and if you use the dragon as an ancient not using the dragon as such, but actually using its spells, for example, uh, Forveal's uh, Ice uh, Freeze, uh, you'll actually get another five points. Uh, keep fighting after you've collected your prizes to see who can top the leaderboard. So the top um, players in the world will receive the Ancient Dragon Heart, which is the picture on the screen right now, and that will ascend an Epic Dragon to Legendary. Okay, so the points values are for a battle win is five points. Uh, if you use one of your dragons, either Melus, Forvial, Talison, Viscaria, or Emberclaw, and there's no argue, uh, no complaining going on because everyone has Forvial, um, you'll actually get five points. Not actually the dragon, as I said, um, actually using the spells having that dragon as an ancient and of course the elementals as I mentioned a second ago superior gives you one more battle point rare gives you three and uh, epic will give you five so a possible 15 per battle win if you lose the battle you won't get any okay so let's move on now and uh, we've got Battlestone, yeah. Okay, so Elemental Hordes. So the Elemental Hordes are available until February 1st, uh, 2016, 11 a.m. GMT. That's the general, uh, the English time. And each Elemental Horde will have a chance to obtain its Elemental Dragon, Dragon's Ascension Material, or Elemental Troops Primus or Rings, so pretty much you might have a chance of winning Malice if you buy the, uh, I think it's the Death Chest, um, or the Death Horde, I should say. Okay, so let's uh, go down and have a look. So the Sparkling Horde gives you Talison or Lightning Elementals. Uh, the Cursed Horde will give you Malice or Death Knights. Um, the Infernal Horde will give you Amber Claws Essential Material or the Scale of Alahil or Fire Elementals. Uh, the Toxic Horde will give you either Viscaria or Nature Elementals. And the Glacial Horde will give you uh, Forveal's Essential Material, um, the White Eagle Chris, and that's also Bay Moore's um, Essential Material. So let's move on. As you can see, 500 gold uh, diamonds pretty much for them, uh, and the two basics, Amber Claws and uh, Forveal's, are uh, just 300. So as you can see, you might be able to get uh, Malice if you're lucky. 
Okay, so uh, my grip's already started. They've got 80 points already, so let's go in and have a look at the prizes before we attack. So starting down the bottom uh, is a thousand uh, battle points will give you pure primus. Uh, next up, we have 3,000 points will give you uh, 50,000 gold. Sorry. And as we scroll up, uh, 7,000 will give you the Glacial Horde, so the one with the uh, four viewers uh, ascension material. Uh, looking up, 16,000 will give you the Bronze Statue Chest. Next up is the Primus. So starting, uh, all of these Primus are at 2,500 um, points worth of Primus. Uh, the, at 18,000 you'll get the Ice, 19,000 you'll get the Fire, at 20,000 you'll get Lightning, 21,000 you'll get Death, and 22,000 Primus. Uh, Battle points will get you the nature primus, and then at 25,000 you'll get the first piece of mithril. As we continue up at 27,000, and all of these primus are at 5,000 primus each, so at 27,000 battle points you'll get the ice primus, 29,000 you'll get the fire primus, 31,000 the lightning primus. 33,000 the Death Primus, 35,000 the Nature Primus, and the top prize at 42,000 is the Mithril. And this is very, very obtainable. Uh, at least the first Mithril is as it is a Kingdom event. It's not an individual event. So pretty much everyone should be able to get um, the prizes. So let's switch over to the rewards. So the top five groups in the world, the top five uh, kingdoms will get the ancient dragon heart which I mentioned before and a gold statue uh, chest. Uh, the from 6 to 15 we'll get a silver statue chest as well instead of the gold and from 16th to 120th we'll get the bronze uh, statue chest and from 121 um, through to the 320th best um, kingdom in the world will only get the statue chest um, for bronze. Okay, so let's... Oh, there's Swiftwing as well. Uh, I'll put a link... In fact, I'll put an iCard up the top uh, because it's a little bit easier and quicker about Swiftwing. Uh, she is a new ancient coming to Astara and... Uh, I'll put the link in for the Rival Kingdoms uh, video on Star uh, on um, Swiftwing. Okay, so uh, let's just collect the gold. We've got nothing to finish. Okay, so let's go in and let's go and attack. Okay, so first let's go into the arena. Let's just pick uh, the hardest. <laughs> I'll probably lose. But um, let's go for the battle points. So if we're going to use 10 battle... Wow! It's uh, right outside. We're definitely taking this one on. Okay, so we've got Talison already. So let's just dive into it. Drop some Wardens there. Some Wardens there. Come over here. And some Soldiers. Uh, let's put in some more Soldiers down here. Let's get all this gold. Uh, raiders there, no, Mana Hunters and Raiders and then Talison up the top. And we've already got uh, Talison's ability, Volatile Current. Uh, so we'll just wait for them to do their job. And Talison's gone down, so Volatile Current there. And another Volatile Current over that gold and perfect, nice. So, there's 201 left, but that's okay. Let's just end it there and go to the next one. So, nice. Okay, so we've got Superior Arena Chest because I'm still under the uh, 5500 mark. So, uh, Mana Hunters... Let's go back, and uh, I'm going to leave you with this battle. Anyway, if you haven't, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and of course, share with your friends. Comment down below, help me out, and uh, try and make this channel a bit bigger if you uh, enjoy my videos. And uh, as always, if you want to see a Let's Play series, there is one on the top right-hand side of this video. 
uh, of the screen right now uh, is the Let's Play, and the one under it is the uh, dodgy um, video that I made um, a couple weeks ago. Anyway, if you haven't, have a great day. Until next time, enjoy the video. I'm going to leave you with a live raid as I as hack. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.